For the debate, I recognize the member from Guelph. Thank you, Speaker. Uh, I'm both humbled and honoured to rise and speak in support of Bill 75, the Emancipation Month Act. And I'd like to thank the members from Kitchener Centre, Scarborough Gilwood, Barry Innisville for co-sponsoring this bill. And I'd like to thank the House Leader for clearing a path for it to be passed uh, before the House rises. I want to give a special thank you to DeWitt Lee, the founder of Emancipation Month Canada, who initiated this bill. It was so important to Mr. Lee that all four parties co-sponsor this bill. And I believe it is the first bill in Ontario's history to be spo sponsored by four parties. And for DeWitt, this was an important message to send to the people of Ontario. It builds on the fact that the first co-sponsored bill introduced in Ontario was established Emancipation Day uh, on our, uh, in Ontario. So, DeWitt, I know you're watching today, and I just want to say thank you for working so hard on this bill. It's paid off. I want to thank the Ontario Black History Society who contributed to the drafting of this bill. It was truly a collaborative effort with the co-sponsors of the bill. This bill will officially proclaim August as Emancipation Month in Ontario. And August was chosen because it's in recognition of the Slavery Abolition Act, which received royal assent in 1833 and was proclaimed on August 1, 1834. The day in which the British Empire ended the practice of slavery for close to a million African people and their descendants, including in Upper and Lower Canada. Emancipation Month Canada was founded as a legacy project of the United Nations Declaration of the International Decade of People of African Descent. In proclaiming this decade, the UN recognized that people of African descent represent a distinct group whose human rights must be protected and promoted. Over 200 million people identifying themselves as being of African descent live outside of the African continent. And so it is with great importance that we recognized August as Emancipation Month to pay tribute to the important contributions and leadership of the black community and continue to make Ontario a May and, and the black community continues to uh, be a vibrant part of Ontario's social, political, cultural, and fabric. Speaker, a lot of Canadians don't know that black and indigenous people were enslaved in our country. This may be a symbolic act, and I'll be the first to tell you we need more than symbolic acts, but symbols can serve important tools for education, for recognition, and for reflection. And as DeWitt said, and I quote, Emancipation Month is not just a month to commemorate the freedom fighters from all races who helped usher in freedom to African descendants across the British colonies from the inhumanity of slavery. It is designed to grant the much needed time and safe spaces to recover and repair the affected communities from the lingering intergenerational effects of slavery, racism, and being colonized, which we can see in our society today. So, Speaker, we know that intergenerational trauma of slavery and systemic racism persists today. We know it's baked into our institutions, into our political system, into our education and medical institution in deep and systemic ways that we cannot ignore. Speaker, I've always admired the courage, the strength, and the resiliency of freedom fighters who fought so hard to remove the shackles of slavery. And I believe they deserve those of us today to continue that fight for freedom and justice. As the great civil rights leader Martin Luther King once said, our lives begin to end the day we come silent about the things that matter. And Speaker, we cannot remain silent in the fight to dismantle systemic racism and colonialism in our society. We cannot remain silent in the fight 
for justice, and for freedom. So I want to take a moment to acknowledge an organization in my community, the Guelph Black Heritage Society, which embodies the goals of Emancipation Month each and every day of the year. Their ongoing Change Starts Now education initiative provides educational programming on black history and culture, as well as relevant resources on diversity, discrimination, and anti-racism for the black community. They've preserved Heritage Hall, which was for many enslaved people the final stop on the Underground Railroad. What a feeling it must have been to reach freedom, to reach freedom, Speaker, and the courage it took to make that journey and to know that they could land in a place like Guelph. So as we've affirmed in this bill, Emancipation Month is a time for healing, unification, and restoration. It's a time to heal relationships so we can create a better future. It's about eliminating discrimination by continuing to educate and to advance the importance of racial equity and justice across the province. Emancipation Month, though it's only symbolic, is an important symbol about the need to be an inclusive province where everyone is treated with fairness, respect, dignity, and receives the justice they deserve. So we, in this House today, we have an important opportunity to say to the black community that we will celebrate Emancipation Month and we will fight we will continue to fight together in solidarity as allies to end systemic racism in this province. That's what we're here to do. Thank you, Speaker. Thank you. Pursuant to the order of the House dated December 8, 2021. Further debate? Pursuant to the order of the House dated December 8, 2021, I am now required to put the question. Ms. Hunter has moved second reading of Bill 75, an act to proclaim the month of August as Emancipation Month. Is it the pleasure of the House that the motion carry? Carried. Carried. Second Pursu reading of the bill, deuxième lecture du projet de loi. Pursuant to the order of the House passed earlier today, the bill is now ordered for third reading. Orders of the day. I recognize the government House Leader. I thank you, Speaker. Order M75. Order M75, third reading of Bill 75, an act to proclaim the month of August as Emancipation Month. Mr. Schreiner, Ms. Hunter, Ms. Lindo, Ms. Kanji. I require a member to move third reading of the bill. I recognize the member from Guelph. I move third reading of Bill 75. Mr. Schreiner has moved third reading of the Bill 75, an act to proclaim the month of August as Emancipation Month. Is it the pleasure of the House that the motion carry? Carried. Carried. Third reading of the bill, troisième lecture du projet de loi. Be it resolved that the bill do now pass and be entitled as in the motion.